First is noontime, our top local story. Passengers who were on a flight from Florida to Maine were forced to spend the night in Rhode Island after an emergency landing, and they're finally headed home. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace is working the story. He's live now with the Mobile Newsroom. And good afternoon, Danielle. I just got off the phone with a spokesperson for Allegiant Air no more than five or ten minutes ago, and she says that they have briefed the FAA and are working with them. Meanwhile, it has been determined that an air duct leak caused an unusual smell that forced the emergency landing. These passengers are getting tickets for a flight they did not expect to take. All about an hour and a half into the flight, the smell came back again. And they said each end of the plane, it was warm. Jim Tyler is describing what happened on Allegiant Air Flight 736 to Bangor, Maine Thursday afternoon. As a result of that burning smell, the flight from Orlando, Florida was diverted to TF Green Airport. 151 passengers were on board. Some took rental cars to continue their trip. The others spent the night. Unfortunately, it was a two-hour check-in at one of the hotels. Only had one person on. We didn't check in until after, just after 11 o'clock. So here we are again this morning, and hopefully we'll be able to get out at 11 o'clock. Heidi Goodwin says it's all about making the best out of a bad situation. The um, airport um, people were incredibly accommodating. They tried to make us um, at ease and gave us, they gave us pizza. They were friendly. Um, so I guess if we had to be anywhere, we're glad we're here. After a short night's stay, passengers had to line up at 9 Thursday morning for a flight scheduled to leave at 11 for the approximately one hour flight. However inconvenient this all may have been, Christina Viscarando is thankful it wasn't worse. I mean, we all took care of each other, and let's just focus on the bright side of things. Nobody got hurt. I got my bottle of water, and everybody's safe, and everybody did the best they could. And no one was injured. The passengers received $150 vouchers from the airline to use for future flights. Reporting live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.